us. Thank you. Good to be with you. Let's bring in CNN political commentator and Democratic strategist Maria Cardona and Republican strategist Rena Shaw. Do you guys believe Mike Pence <laughs> when he says it's policy and it, it it's it's not January 6th, that it's only, it's really policies, the emphasis. No, I mean, how, how can you really believe somebody who on January 6th, he was hearing chants of hang Mike Pence? Now, maybe this is what he is saying publicly because he still doesn't have the backbone to tell the truth. And that is the truth that January 6th was a place where not only his life was in danger, but so many others elected officials' lives were in danger. But he was never one to have the backbone and the wherewithal to really go up against Donald he, Trump. He's had some backbone, though. His family was in danger, <clears throat> by the way, as well. Reno, what yeah. do you think? Well, he's found his conscience after almost a decade, it seems, <laughs> because this is what had to happen for Mike Pence to be Mike Pence up until now. He's now made the decision that he will no longer pursue a career in politics the conventional way. I think he realized after that dead-end presidential primary run that there's not an audience for him anymore. And so he's come out and he's saying the right thing. So I say, welcome to the bright side, former VP. Uh, but if you really want to do this the right way, the way those of us who've stood firmly never Trump within the Republican Party have for the past eight years, then you need to give a full-throated rebuke of Trumpism. And I think he's understood that now. And so he wants to warn how dangerous Trumpism is. He needs to do that in plain speak. And I think this is also a bit of a bat signal to those who may still support him within the Republican Party, that Christian evangelical base that very much has always liked him. And this may be saying to them, hey, you ought to be looking at who you're casting your vote for this fall. But the phrase of the year is turnout, Brianna. We know that. M many of those evangelicals will still vote for Trump. We know that. I do want to listen to what Pence said at a CNN town hall last year. Let's listen to this. I've always supported the Republican nominee for president of the United States, and I'll support the Republican nominee in 2024, especially if it's me. Well, it's not him. Yeah. Um, is this the new, is that pledge the new, um, I, I'm going to fill out my term, I'm going to fulfill my term, I won't run for president? I mean, it seems like, is that just an empty pledge? What, It, it is an empty pledge. It means nothing these days. These are empty words and promises. Whereas, you know, you're looking at this thing right now with Pence saying what he said today, I think in the back of his mind, he is praying for a Hail Mary, for another door to open, because we all know we're in uncharted territory. We've never seen nominees, the presumptive nominee in Trump, under such weird circumstances. So Pence is maybe waiting for something else to happen with the GOP nomination, let's, and he can endorse someone else. Let's talk about the Biden-Harris ticket, because you had Vice President Kamala Harris today hosting a cannabis reform roundtable where she was addressing her role in what she called an unequal criminal justice system. Here's what she said. I believe that the promise of America includes equal justice under the law. And for too many, our criminal justice system has failed to live up to that core principle. And I say that with full knowledge of how this system has worked, including um, my experience as a prosecutor. Who is she speaking to at this critical time in the campaign? I think she is speaking to the breadth of the Democratic coalition that needs to come together in order for the Biden-Harris ticket to get reelected. And I think it's really smart of her to do that. It speaks to black communities. It, spe it speaks to brown communities. It frankly speaks to the majority of America who have completely switched their stances on where we are with marijuana. I think it's really, really critical. Maria and Rena, thank you to both of you this evening. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Just hundreds of miles from our shore.